This is a download from BFM 89.9, the business station. BFM 89.9, I'm Darong, and you're tuning to the show that's all about the people and places of our capital city. It all began in Japan in 1979 with the introduction of the anime series Mobile Suit Gundam. <laughs> Following the anime's cancellation in 1980 came the introduction of robot kits named Gunpla, which is a combination of the words Gundam and plastic. Gunplas are model kits that depicts the vehicles and characters of the fictional Gundam universe. Robot kits that eventually kicked off a whole subculture of its own, proving its sustainable popularity even to today. Despite the long-lasting popularity of Gundam models here, there hasn't been much avenues for Malaysian diehards to meet up and unite. But that all changed with the very first Malaysian Gundam art festival that took place recently. We caught up with Nuzul Amin, Mohamed Aizat, and Chris Lee, organizers of the event, to find out more about the event and the Gundam community here in Malaysia. Gundam is started at nineteen seventy nine in、uh, animation park. They started TV series, and starting from there, it's a very long history, lah. After that, their franchise evolved into、uh, Mother Kit, which is until past until today, which is what we see on the market. There's three main grade. Is、uh, one is、uh, HG, meaning high grade, MG,、uh, master grade, and PG is perfect grade. So depend on the model. HG is the cheapest one. The cheapest one you can get around sixty、uh, or seventy like that. Basically, you have to follow the manual that is inside the box. There's a part of plastic that we call runner, and in the runner there's a Every parts of the Gundam. So if you follow the manual, there will be instruction telling you that from runner, let's say runner A, they will be using A1. So you need to cut out the A1 and then combine with A2, then so on until you complete the parts. Depends on the skills. Normally for HG around one hour, two hour, you can finish it. But then for PG or MG, you will take about Two three days to two weeks or one month, depend on your skills and your time. In the pursuit for perfection, Gunpla fans are so serious about the craft that they employ certain special tools when building to ensure a perfect Gundam model. There's a basic tool, so、uh, because I'm more to building, so basic tool is uh, cutters, uh, sanding tools,、uh, hobby knife, which is is a、uh, quite. In the beginning, when you want to build and you're just a newcomer, this is the f- few basic tools. Normally, if you more to intermediate level,、uh, you will begin to you want to paint your kits and you want to customize it. Then there will be a different tools, which in this case you need a brush, paints, and some reading regarding the basics on building the Gundam, and as well basic on painting and. Customizing the Gundam as well. Firstly, you need to cut each part leather. Then you will need to sand it. After you sand, then you need to wash or to remove all the excess、uh, dust or debris. Later, then you need to prime. Priming is when you change the color, the basic color of the Gundam to more one tone, which is in this case white or grey. Later, then you will be spray what your color of your choice. Any color up to you. Then there will be a final coat that we call it top coat, and depend on the finish whether you want to make it matte or glossy. One might group gun plus along with other toys meant for kids, but Chris explains that this really isn't the case. Basically, I wouldn't say that it's not for kids or so lah. It's just that when people say it's toys, is it's been treated that the value is different already, and people treat it as a toys. Uh, they buy it, they play it. But in Gundam or Gunpla culture, is we look it more into art, because Gunpla is also can test our patient. It will test our skill. It will test our observation. And for my case, I started with a very small room, which is I rented above my office. Just want to 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 get back my hobby that been lost for some time. 
But throughout there, I meet my business partner, uh, Mr. Nuzul. From Mr. Nuzul, he meet another business partner, which is Mr. Aizad there. So it's also broaden up your circle in a sense of people having a same hobby around you. It create conversation, it create friendship, and it create relationship. Even though that's how we come up with MGF from there also. That's why in this MGF we look it as art. Gampla is art. Being the very first of its kind, the Malaysian Gundam Art Festival successfully drew in hordes of fans and even managed to snag up a record in the Malaysian Book of Records. Initially, the, the, the idea is we want to do something recognizable, something appreciation for the community, for the culture, and a platform for people to really come to show what they have, what they love, without having a stress of competition, without having the, the mentality that I come here, you have to compete with someone. We turn that mentality when they come, they come with joy, they come to learn, and they come to meet new friends, and they come to really embrace the hobby culture. And also like unity, mm. because our tagline, a unity art, hobby art event by the people and fans. That is the tagline of it. The total number of Gundam were displayed in the event is 1,916. That's um, a lot of uh, Gundam to display in one event. But actually the book of record, in Malaysia book of record, they gave us a total number of 1,100. So we exceed the, the amount, the yeah. expectation that uh, the Malaysia Book of Record said. So we kind of proud of it, uh, and then we believe the Malaysian Gundam scene is more alive. Individually, you cannot achieve that record. You don't have one thousand nine hundred kids at your <laughs> home. In that sense, we want to make it as a whole, as a community event, and people can come and set up their kids, and we can achieve that record. As a community, not as an individual, we target it as a unity event. In that event, there will be, there is a group from Kuantan, Johor, Sarawak, Seremban, Terengganu, Pulau Pinang. Normally, we we only see see or interact with them in the Facebook. But then, when you face to face with them, then you will make new friends and all the stuff. An event of this scale is sure to be incomplete without a few hiccups and challenges here and there. To me, the challenges is how to keep others, people's gampla in a very safe environment. So right now, because we are in the tight budget and there will be no chef or anything, just a table, <coughs> they will be putting the caution line. So to achieve that, I personally want to thank our crew because be- without them, it's very hard for us to maintain the. Security and the order of the event because since the the thing is very the gampla is very fragile and once you knock one down and everything will be domino effect <laughs> so it's quite hard to actually to stop the visitor from touching the kids. Oh yeah, that's why the security is the main issue. But then thank God there's uh, nothing wrong, nothing fall down, nothing missing except for some skirt. Ah, uh. <laughs> uh, there's a uh, one uh, one, piece one, one small part. <laughs> so so far safe no stealing case no. Uh, no stealing. In the beginning we not say want to integrate the cosplay event but when that building owner na uh, USJ 19 say hey I need some cosplayer to bring out the crowd. So now that only left less than 30 day to find cosplayer. So after that we go to talk to find a uh, suitable pr- people to talk to a cosplayer because for our Community that been gampla spraying building for us to approach cosplay community is very <laughs> difficult. Different, different, different feel. Different <laughs> <laughs> it's different feel. So from there is a challenge also uh, to go find key people. From there, we talk to also Mr. Sean. Sean Lopez is the MC for the event. He gives some advice, and then uh, Mr. John, he is a prop maker. He very good in a sense of making 
costume or cosplay for a character. So from there, he draw more cosplayer to come to the competition. We give out some prize money. So that event able to pull off is because of we find people that can help. We able to pull up because we have to thank a lot of these key people. With the success of this year's event, uh, I seek out to find out the three years' goals and plans for the near future. We hope, and we really want to break this uh, the record we set up, which is one thousand nine hundred and sixteen. Maybe next year we can go a little bit higher, like two thousand, uh, two thousand five hundred. But also, uh, we are hoping if we do this kind of event, we are hoping for. Other parts, you know, other parts of Malaysian Belia side to you know really look of uh, in this event and oh, this yes. kind of way recognize this hobby to you know bring up the Malaysian name, you know because a lot of uh, guys a uh, lot of family don't know that Malaysia is the world champion only a certain certain part of individual who knows the and I think for Malaysian. Kementerian punya site for Belia they don't know so we are hoping if in future this kind of group this kind of government activity who for Belia can chip in and you know help to promote this kind of hobby so like my friend said uh, we hope that the government sector I mean the youth youth punya ministry <coughs> We recognize this hobby and maybe like in Japan we will integrate in for school activity or what because right now what I see is mostly from the sekolah swasta or the international school saja yang willing to recognize this kind of stuff and then make it as a formal club in their school but then our government school. kebangsaan punya school government school they don't Maybe they don't know or we hope that for this kind of event we will open their eyes and make them realize hey what this kind of hobby is better than maybe like rompet or anything. <laughs> That was Nuzo Amin Muhammad Aizat and Chris Lee, organizers of the Malaysian Gundam Art Festival. To find out more about the event and about what they're up to, and to get in touch with the local community here in KL, just head over to www.gunplamalaysia.com.